Today, I have the privilege of speaking with Jim Payne from Dynasert. How are you, Jim? I'm great. Yourself, Tracy? You are so hard to get a hold of. You've been so incredibly busy. So thank you for, for squeezing us in, Jim. It's great to see you. Tracy, it's always a pleasure. Well, let's start with congratulations. Your most recent news was about basically taking Dynasert's technology and deploying it in into the freight tech industry. That sounds pretty incredible to me. Can you tell us what this means? Absolutely. I mean, freight tech is a perfect fit with what we do. Uh, I know that, you know, we had talked about the Hydrolytica before. Now we've, and, and you know, I used to say the Hydrolytica was like a uh, freight management system on steroids. Well, we've taken that to a whole new level. Uh, one thing we've certainly come to realize, I mean, freight tech is such an important part of today and tomorrow's way in the trucking industry. And with that, you know, now with our technology, you know, we cannot just, not only just track the truck and track the you know, fuel efficiencies and the reductions in emissions, but we can also, you know, go through a whole array of things, you know, everything from, you know, the maintenance of a vehicle. We can clearly show the drivers or the, the end users, you know, when the truck should be, you know, certain maintenance levels, uh, you know, as far as driving habits, you know, we can show, you know, driving habits and where and how they can improve, you know, their driving habits. We can also show them, you know, truck routes, you know, more improved truck routes to get to and from where they can, you know, certainly save, you know, save times and save fuel and save and be way more efficient. Uh, accident reports. It was very interesting. Not long ago, we've actually got a large fleet here in Canada that's using our technology. One of their trucks was in an accident and there was a lot of discussion of what or how this happened. And then all of a sudden they said, well, wait a minute, we've got a, we've got a hydrogen unit on there with the hydrolytica. They reached out to us and we could show them exactly where the accident happened, where, you know, and we could actually show the exact time the driver applied the brakes. And it just happened that the, you know, in this one particular incident, the driver did not even touch the brakes till six seconds after impact. So, you know, it, it's information like that. I mean, there's just, there's so much information that's now readily available. But I think the most important thing is, is we've got the ability to take all this information and package it in such a way that it makes sense. You know, like the, the, you know, the, fleet managers or whoever they're having, they're not trying to sift through thousands of pieces of information to come up with the reports they need. You know, these reports can be streamlined specifically for their needs and for their purposes. And of course, uh, Hydrolytica is working hand in hand with the hydrogen, which is your carbon emission technology. Yes? It, yes. So yes, I mean, the Hydrolytica is, is a part of our hydrogen, you know, that we've got today. I mean, our hydrogen is... Uh, it is, it is a unit that, you know, through, not through a very patented electrolysis system, develops and introduces trace amounts or measured amounts of hydrogen and oxygen to the internal combustion engine to enhance the burn. By doing that, we improve the fuel economy on an average 10 to 15 percent, but more importantly is a reduction in emissions. Clear across the board, you know, we're reducing the emissions by north of 50 percent. Uh, it was interesting, just today, Actually, an article came out in CBC where they're saying nitrogen oxide is more harmful to the climate than the CO2 increasing the atmosphere, studies say. And they say, you know, if we don't curve this by 2100, uh, you know, the temperature is going to raise by another three degrees Celsius. Well, it just happens that we reduce the nitrogen oxide or the NOx, you know, from a diesel engine. You know, this is not a filtration system. You know, our unit is a unit that I think the important thing to understand, we've got a unit today. We've got a unit right now that can be applied to diesel engines. Certainly our target market has been large transport trucks and from there going larger to, to power generation, shipping, rail, mining. Uh, now we're doing a real good job starting to penetrate the municipal uh, arenas within busing and their garbage trucks, things like that. But, uh, you know, you look at the reduction in, in the NOx, uh, I mean, it's all over the globe. I mean, this is this is a major. Well, I'll tell you, Jim. I know you have a lot of diehard fans and shareholders, uh, but for those out there that may be new to Dynasert and, of course, are interested in the clean tech sector, would you mind just giving them a quick, you know, overview on the competitive advantages on why you need to have Dynasert in your portfolio to sleep better at night? 
Absolutely. I, I don't think that personally, I don't think there's a better company out there today, you know, to fit in the ESG and the, and the climate change and the green movement, you know, than what we've got. I mean, you know, the reality is, like I said, you look at the trucking industry. I mean, there's over a billion diesel engines in the world today, you know, and by applying our technology, I mean, this reduces the emissions right off the bat. It improves the fuel economy. So the most important thing is that it pays for itself to the end user, like the end user. You know, this is not something that they're putting on just to make them feel good. The reality is they're putting this on. It's it's improving their fuel economy, so it pays for itself in the reduction in in, in the fuel, but it's reducing the emissions so significantly, rate right clean across the board on a continual basis. I mean, this is a product that I, I like to say we're a Canadian company with a global solution to reduce pollution. You know, we have now taken this company globally. Uh, we have just recently received the highest rating from the United Nations Sustainable Smart Cities. We were actually one of the first companies, first Canadian companies to ever have a product, uh, you know, get that. And it is now being, you know, accepted within municipalities. We've now, we just announced recently, you know, the city of Woodstock, you know, was the first city to jump on board. We've now got, you know, a dozen cities here in Ontario that are moving forward. And we've got several municipalities across Europe and that, that are that are moving forward with this. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity. I think it's a great thing for uh, for the end user. I think it's a great thing for you know us as Canadians being a Canadian company. I think it's a great thing for our environment and our, our, and our atmosphere. And of course, uh, our majority audience is American. So this is a clean tech company that we definitely have been following for some time. Uh, you hit on some of your most recent news release highlights. But I noticed you had a, a purchase order to complement COVID-19 safety package for trucking industry. That looked interesting to me. Do you want to add anything on that matter? Absolutely. I mean, this this is with a company here in Canada that uh, you know that is also involved in, in several other arenas. You know, within uh, matter of fact, one of the products that they're offering, you know, is a product, um, and I don't know exactly how this works, but it's you know it, it's a a system where they you know, they, they spray the internal trucks or, I mean, they're doing everything from hospitals to churches and everything. But so they looked at our technology. They had tested our technology and put it on their entire fleet. Now they are marketing our product across North America, too, because it was a perfect fit for them with what they're doing. And of course, anytime you want to give us updates, even if you're standing by a truck with your cell phone, we would like to get more regular updates from you, Jim. While we have you here, uh, can you please tell us what we should anticipate this fall? Because, you know, you are uh, constantly hitting milestones one after another. Well, uh, I know that, uh, you know, as we've not, you know, as we've fairly recently announced, I mean, you know, through COVID, it had us shut down for several months here. We are now back in full production. We are now, you know, producing units, shipping units. There's units being installed, you know, all over the globe. Uh, like I talked about Woodstock, I mean, you know, Certainly, you know, within the next week or 10 days, there's going to be news and there'll be some news media going on with that because uh, the mayor there in Woodstock, Mayor Trevor uh, Birch, is a huge uh, believer in our product. And uh, but I, I do believe, you know, you'll see, you know, a lot of larger companies here in North America with our technology. Uh, the reality is right now we've got a lot of large companies that have been that have ran pilot projects. And then everything was held off because of COVID. They're coming forward now and putting orders in. And I feel very confident we're going to see a lot of news concerning this. And, and you know, with that, I know that some of these companies are going to come forward and start talking about it. Because right now, we are under NDAs with them. You know, until they choose to, to talk about it, our hands are tied. But uh, I know that they are very anxious to start talking about how they are you know, it making such a big difference in the reduction in emissions. And I think as that as that unfolds, I really believe that, you know, the marketplace is going to really understand, you know, the true value of our company and, and the technology that we offer today. Well, Jim, I can understand why everyone wants to talk to you. Thank you so much for giving us an update on Dynasert, the latest on Hydrolytica, and of course an update on hydrogen. I'm assuming with all of the deliveries to all of us at home, this is the freight and trucking and logistics industry is definitely a place where uh, you're going to fare well this next year. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.